On this week's video I take the train up to Newcastle where I jump on a Aer Lingus flight over to Belfast and uh, we're going over there today to look around the Titanic Museum. So join me, let's get going. Morning from Newcastle Airport. We're off to see the Titanic, not the Titanic itself, but the place it was built at Harland and Wolf in Belfast. There's a museum over there, so let's get going. Come on. Newcastle has just introduced a new security system, so you don't have to take anything out of your bag, your liquids or your electronics, just leave everything in and go straight through. Just uh, had one in, well, Teesside trialed it for about a year or so. It's absolutely fantastic, it saves so much time. So through duty free, where I didn't bother to buy anything because uh, I don't think it's really worth it these days. And then uh, went through to get something to eat. Right, so we checked in, got an hour and a half till our flight leaves, so I thought I'd uh, sit and watch the world go by. Nice little spot here, you can see out the, the, uh, the car parking area. Plane. Looks like uh, maybe a military one, maybe for troops or something, there's no livery on it, so I'm guessing that's what that is. Yeah, friends, hop. I presume that's the little shuttle ones. After some light refreshments, Time to go and find our gate. Looks like they're doing some uh, alterations at the airport. Uh, see there's a new bars coming soon. See what that's like next time up there. It only took me a few minutes to walk through the terminal and uh, down to the gate and then I was uh, greeted by this wonderful aircraft from Aer Lingus. Such a long time since I've been on a, a turboprop plane so it was it was really really exciting to go to get on board this thing. And of course it was raining as well so you can see a few people in front of me waiting to get on board but only had about a minute or so to wait so it wasn't too bad. Sure you have taken your correct seat. Right, so safely on board. It's a bit cramped. There's a few screaming children. Never mind, it's only a 55 minute run over to Belfast. So we'll be underway shortly. It was a decent onboard uh, menu card. You can buy uh, teas, coffees, snacks, that kind of thing, sandwiches. Um, but I wasn't tempted to have anything. I'd already had something in the terminal, so I just chilled out, sat back, and relaxed. to Sophie Truesdale I've actually caught my flight coming to Belfast Airport. Thanks Sophie.
safe day, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop. Well, it was a nice flight. Enjoyed it. Great aircraft. Absolutely love that. Okay. Time to go and see the Titanic Museum. about that there she is the SS nomadic sister ship to the Titanic well strictly speaking she wasn't the uh, sister ship she's actually the tender ship that uh, took supplies out to the Titanic and second marriage. He's 47 and his new wife, only 18. And over there by the window, we see Guggenheim is with our French singer, Miss Leontine Aubert. But is she his wife? You know. Fully first class. Escaping occupied France, Nomadic found new employment in England as a naval troop carrier. Wow. First class indeed. All right, so behind me you can see the Titanic Hotel and there's also one in Liverpool where me and uh, Mrs. Teesside Traveller stayed once upon a time. Um, different to this one, a lot bigger. I wish I had a bit more time because I'd be all over Spud Murphy's. See a bit more of the hotel there. It's actually bigger than I thought, yeah. All right, behind me you can see the, uh, the two big cranes from the Harland and Wolf shipyard who actually built the Titanic. Um, I think back in the day there were a lot more than just those two cranes you can see here. Um, this place was a, a mecca for, uh, for shipbuilding. It'd be like the uh, Clyde in Scotland and the Tees and the Tyne and the Weir in the northeast where uh, I, I'm from in England. So here we are at the Titanic Museum. Let's go inside and have a look around. Come on, let's go. That's a bit of a worry, isn't it? There's actually a ride in the museum which I didn't know about. Um, it's about a 20 minute wait to get in, but uh, you can skip the line as you can see that sign if you want to. But uh, I decided to want to have a look at the ride. Photographer, like a backbone, and the frames attached to that, like a skeleton. Workshops everywhere. It took weeks to find your way around. Curved, and it's still work. You had to bend them more than you needed, because the frames straightened out a little when it cooled. The shell plates are made of the hull, weighed up to four and a half tons. <laughs> they were taller than my dad. The plates were overlapped on the edges. Some were raised one after another. One of the four men would check each other with a special hammer. If it made a ringing sound, we'd have to get back and chase it out after work. I get scared working down in that double bottom. You only had candles for light. And the constant hammering against the shell plates. You could hear it all over Belfast. Some of those boys ended up stone deaf, so they did. 100,000 people watched the lodge. Some paid a bob to sit in the reserved seating. There were extra trams laid on. Then we all went off to the pub. 
to wish her well. Here you can see the, uh, the slipway where the Titanic was launched. White Star Line Tableware. So we were heard on board the Titanic. This is uh, one of the life jackets from Titanic, made from linen and cork inserts. If you ever get the chance to go and see the Titanic Museum in Belfast, I highly recommend it. Absolutely fabulous. Right, welcome to Belfast International Airport. You wouldn't think it was an international airport. A bit of construction going on, but that's what it's going to look like, apparently. Right. Let's get through security and uh, get on our way home. Thank you. Just a short walk through the terminal and then uh, went to the Civic to find the lounge to chill out for a little bit.
Should we try the lounge? Let's try the lounge. Potatoes, yeah. I would say cheers, but unfortunately I'm drinking this. Sorry, American friends, but no. Right, I've got myself some potatoes and I've got myself one of these wrap things. Yeah, yum. Not, uh, not the best lounge I've ever been in, but it'll do. And the sun's shining, stop raining. In fact, let's have a little look around, shall we? the apron. Apparently my flight's delayed by half an hour, so there's only one thing for it. Soup. Okay, flight was delayed, so we're heading to our gate now. I'm starting to panic. There's no other passengers and I can't see any signs for gate 24, but I can see two easy jet planes over there, so they only just announced the bloody gate. But I needn't have worried, just around the corner I saw the huge queue to stand in for my flight. I'm not sure why, but I kind of developed um, a liking for these Tato potato chips or crisps we call them in England. We should we get them but uh, I don't think we can but uh, let's see if we can get them online somewhere I think. Cheers mate. which is always good, but yes, it makes life a little more comfortable.
get on the metro and then back to Teesside. Gotta say, I'm pretty tired. Platform seven. Okay, we're on time. That's good news. As you can see, I don't look very happy. There was uh, some youngsters on the train making a lot of noise and playing annoying music. <laughs> well, my microphone decided to die right at the end. So thanks for watching, everybody, and. Uh, Hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video. Cheers for now. Bye.